the Churchill Robotics Club um, is something I started maybe 15 years ago. I've done it because it gives the kids a chance to do some uh, hands-on learning and they get the chance to do things that they would never get to do, like you know, um, doing some machining with metal, um, um, opportunity to you know make circuit boards, do soldering, um, you know, work uh, with aluminum, and um, often it gives them a chance to be part of a team um, and represent their school. And um, they enjoy the uh, competitive aspect, they enjoy the camaraderie, and they enjoy the building process. And they learn resourcefulness and perseverance because things always happen. We have um, 16 kids here today. They're participating in a bunch of different events. Uh, most of them are participating in the sumo events. Uh, the younger kids are doing the mini sumos. and uh, The older kids are doing the prairie sumo, which is a higher weight class. And some are even doing autonomous sumo, which involves actually programming a robot that basically uses electronic sensors to gather information about its environment and basically operate autonomously. Um, and we also have some tractor pull robots uh, which are basically the brutes of the competition and we also have um, some uh, line followers which involve some really sophisticated programming. I really like soldering and um, connecting the electronics together. I had to really learn how to do that. Uh, my teacher actually had to break through and get to me and show me the techniques so learning what I need to know is actually my favorite part of this experience. This year I am participating in the Prairie Sumo Tether. Um, we are making tethered robots, like tethered controllers, and uh, we are pushing each other out of the arena with little car robots. It's actually really cool. In 23 years, we've really seen a change in the more advanced technology. It started, it was just mechanical, electrical devices. Now there's far more digital. We're, we're seeing programmable devices, program competitions, uh, the autonomous competitions are far more difficult to do, and we have students making that achievement. Students typically spend two to three months overtime after school's evenings working on their robots, building for and to match the rules that we have uh, posted on the website. And uh, the students gain a lot from doing it. We run a, a workshop program uh, it's mostly aimed at schools and groups, recreation groups, and mostly at schools, where I go into schools and teach kids how to build a small robot, starting as low as grade five. The partnership with Winnipeg School Division has been wonderful. This is our 13th year at Tech Walk High School. They've been warm and welcome to us. They've been very accommodating and uh, we try to take good care of their facility. We've also worked with numerous schools in the division. When I started doing workshops, the first workshop was a combination of a school from, uh, from the north, a reserve school, and Churchill High School, and they hosted a joint workshop. And that's uh, been a, a good thing to bring people together building robots.